Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Um, today's video is sort of a follow-up to my October setup, which I will link below and at the end of the video. Um, in that, I sort of showed how I was set up in my Pocket Plus Outland, no, sorry, normal Pocket Outlander Deluxe uh, wine. This is my planner, my bullet journal for the month, and um, I'm using some new uh, sort of structures and setups and ideas um, in this following up from my experiment in September where I did uh, daily videos cataloging my minimalist Bujo challenge journey. Um, so there's some things in here that are kind of experimental that I'm changing um, from previous setups. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I've been using those systems and how I've thinking that um, I'm, I'm sort of thinking that I might need to change some of them. Uh, some of them are working great. Some of them are um, a little bit off from my ideal. So I'm gonna talk about how I'm planning on tweaking these things in the upcoming month or two, um, and just sort of how I have been using it and just to check in midway through the month of October. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. So very little, if anything, has actually changed in the physical setup here. I'm just gonna be talking about what has sort of changed or what, um, how I'm feeling about how it's working for me and how I'm thinking of changing things up in the future when I move on. Probably not for November. I think a lot of the actual kind of structure of my planning routine is going to stay put for November just because I still have room in some of these inserts. But I think for December I'm going to set it up differently. Um, here's a physical change. I just stuck this clip in here uh, because I wasn't using it in its old home and I thought it was pretty there. And I'm still not using really these front pockets for anything. Um, I just like stuck my finger to check. I, there's nothing in here. Um, I don't know. I feel like I probably should, but part of me is maybe afraid that it's going to stretch. Um, part of me maybe just doesn't want it to get bulky because in my last setup, it really did get bulky. Um, and I could see like the, uh, the outlines of the things that were in the pocket through the front of the cover. Cause this, uh, leather, this Outlander leather is so sort of flexible and stretchy that, um, yeah, it really just showed whatever was there. So I had like a set of sticky notes and there was just this recti re rectangular, um, sort of relief of the, the size of it right there in the front cover. So it bothered me slightly. Things bother me slightly and then I do something about it. But anyway, so uh, the other physical change in here, I guess there's three. Anyway, uh, when I did my original setup video, I had these dashboards, this paper and this acetate around this back insert and this paper and vellum were around the second insert. Um, but this acetate started to rub off on the leather pocket here. I still have not stopped to try to figure out a way to get that gold off. Um, I might try just like a, a wet wipe or I might, I don't know, like go to the Facebook page and ask Jennifer Harvey herself because I'm kind of nervous that I'll ruin the, the nice shiny um, finish of the leather if I try to rub it off too hard. But um, since it was doing that, I realized there was really no way to get it to stop without just replacing it. So I put the vellum here and I originally had the acetate in the back because I wanted to sort of protect this back cover from the pen loop and from being on the edge because I thought this pen loop would bump against the insert and would um, sort of mess up the paper cover. But actually what's happened instead is that the pen loop is sort of rubbing off a little bit here on this insert. I don't know if you can kind of see this red line here. See this little red line is where the, uh, it's like the middle of the insert where the paper is slightly longer, I guess. And the pen loop sort of sits right there when the book is closed and just sort of has been rubbing off a little bit of the red dye onto the page. So. It's not something that bothers me, but it is what it is. And then uh, I did not have my ruler in here before because I temporarily misplaced it. I'm not sure where I put it, but um, in the meantime, I have this little piece of cardboard that um, I just cut off the edge of like a notepad that I was used up. Um, I actually just cut it with a pair of scissors because that's what I had at the time. So, or I cut this end. 
I colored it with a red marker so that I would know this is the edge not to use because it's the edge that I just freehanded so it's not guaranteed to be perfectly straight. So I've just been using this as a, a straight edge when I'm doing layouts and things like that and I'm keeping it in the back secretarial pocket. And it's very inconspicuous and handy. So I've been using this notes insert and brain dump insert a little bit differently than I expected to. Uh, I started off the month by just laying a whole brain dump uh, onto two whole pages and I processed it and it got me really well started off on the month. Um, I may decide that's the thing that I want to do every month actually uh, and I might do it at the end of October for November but so this was great but I have not really been keeping up with just brain dumping everything because usually when I think of one thing I don't go automatically here I'll either write it down like I say I'm at my desk at work I'll write it on a sticky note and then I'll bring it home with me and I add it to either my daily my monthly future log wherever like it, it generally goes straight where it belongs um, if I if I'm somewhere where I need to just throw something in without thinking about where it goes it's usually on a sticky note on my desk at work or somewhere else like a piece of scrap paper on my desk at home um, so I'm not really using this for brain dumping that much or for mind sweeping that much. Um, I've just sort of been using it as the, um, the notebook I don't care about, which I think is a very valuable thing for me at least, because I generally tend to worry very much about how pages look. Um, my dailies, I'm, you know, very much like focus on my handwriting and in my collections, everything is decorated and pretty and I try to keep everything, you know, looking appropriate. Um, and so I just like to have a place where it doesn't matter what it looks like. Because if I'm out and about and I'm making a collection that's just a list of stuff, like maybe I'm writing in the car and I'm shaky, or maybe I'm, you know, it's just something that I only need for a couple of days or for maybe a week, um, which is technically a short-term collection. like. This is sort of a long-term collection. This is, yeah, this is, I used for about a week. This I used for a few days. Um, this is sort of a, an idea for a weekly schedule thing that didn't end up panning out. This is for something I'm not really using. Um, that's just notes. It's my, my go-to notes is where the tabs is. Like my, my current blank page where brain dumps go is the one that has the notes tab on it. And then this is sort of a, a draft of a morning and evening routine, morning and evening. But I'm not really using it because that would be hard. It's easy to write it down. It's harder to wake up at six. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, it's uh, just sort of my messy, my messy uh, collection that like I don't have to write on the lines or worry about my handwriting. Um, and so I'm also kind of using it for some of these things could be considered project pages, but I'm not putting them in my project notebook. And part of that is that I knew this was a mistake as soon as I did it. I split this notebook in two and I put the front half as project pages and the back half as short-term collections. But these are the short-term collections that look, they're all pretty. They've got washi tape, they've got columns, they've got, you know, I used a ruler, they're well thought out, they're pretty, um, and so I'm not making these all the time and I have way more pages in the back here and I keep, even though I know that when I've filled up the front half with project pages, I can use these back pages as project pages too, but something about this hard break in the middle is kind of crimping my style and I'm like, well I don't want to make a project page for something that I'm not sure I'm ready to start the project yet, but if I have ideas, it's better to have them on a piece of paper than bumping around in my head waiting for like, oh yeah, I'm not ready to work on that yet. Well, okay, but write it down somewhere. Anyway, so this is still my project insert. And I think once this is full, which I'm gonna try to, you know, get it full as quickly as possible because the sooner I fill it, the more productive I am, right? That means I'm working on projects. That's a good thing to fill it up. Once it's full, I want to get my short-term collections out of here because really a lot of these, they're not that short-term. I mean, this one is good for five months. 
Uh, this one is good until mid-December. Uh, this one is sort of evergreen. This one's starting to fill up, but like, not a big deal. This one's really a reference page. This really does belong in the front um, notebook, and this can too. Like, these are reference pages. So I think what I'll do when I fill up this notebook is I will move these collections into this insert, uh, my long-term collections insert, and sort of redefine what long-term means. Because in the past, like in my last setup, the front of my long-term collections insert is my future log. And so I had, in my last setup, my future log went from all of 2017. And I did end up moving out of there before the end of 2017. Um, this one's got, say, October through March have calendar spreads and then the future log goes to the end of 2018 but like I could be happy in here until March um, but I basically that's setting a time limit on this insert that I don't want to have to rewrite any of this stuff um, or like move out of here or create another one basically I want this to last me until the end of my future log. That was my goal when I set up my last setup, but I'm thinking that maybe December, maybe January, whenever I move out of here and set, change things in here a little bit, um, I'm going to get myself a printable uh, that is all like pre-printed monthly grids for all of 2018, and that will be a separate insert. And then I'll have long-term collections, reference collections, all of these things, uh, all the pretty ones, in an insert by themselves. Uh, so my calendars won't be taking up space in the front, and they won't also be imposing any sort of time limit on these collections in here. So the, yeah, long-term can mean something else. Long-term can mean five months instead of 12 months. Because in the past, five months counted as a short-term collection because it was shorter than the length of this one. Like, it doesn't have to last forever, it just has to last long enough that, you know, I'm going to be referencing it, long enough that I want to decorate it before I put it in. Anyway, sorry I'm rambling, but apparently my rambly videos tend to do really well on YouTube, so I don't know, I guess that's you guys. So I wanted to show you some of my trackers. Um, this, where is it, habit tracker. Um, I, you know, just showing you every so often my progress. I started this at the beginning of August, I think, and every square is for a task that I did, a chore or something that I did that uh, is moving me closer and closer to filling up this square. I really don't have a projection for how long it's going to take me to fill up the whole thing. Um, I mean, if maybe in December, maybe in the spring. Um, the idea is I'll buy myself a treat when it's all full, but it's my progress so far. I think I was to like somewhere here uh, at the beginning of the month, so I'm not doing so as great as I would like, but anyway. And then I also wanted to show you um, my bra tracker. Um, I showed it in my setup video, but since it wasn't really being used yet, it was kind of hard to illustrate exactly how I was going to be using it. Um, so each of these columns is for a whole month. And each of these columns has like two columns of data in it. So the left here is, you know, the first through the 15th. The uh, letters are the color and the numbers are how many times I've worn it since my last wash. Uh, and so once it gets to six, I need to wash it. So I know that. Um, so yeah, I'm not using the colored pen. Instead of using a blue pen, I'm just writing the letter B. So that's how I'm using it. Um, and then these just blanks are days that I wore a different bra or no bra at all. Uh, and that's fine. My uh, planning insert has really not changed and I am really happy with how it's working. Um, I showed you the first week in my setup video and everything was red uh, because I wanted to use this washi tape and I thought it was pretty. And it kind of, it it's part of it is this red because it matches the notebook, but I just wanted to use the washi tape and enjoyed some of these stickers and so I kind of expanded that. Um, in previous months I have always done like a monthly color theme. So the whole month's insert 
or even before when I was using my moleskin, the whole month had one color and everything was themed around that one color. Um, this month, I'm doing that per week because I really found that I was starting to get tired of those uh, monthly colors, so I'm switching it up a little bit more often now. So then the second week was green, but you see the layout is exactly the same. I did get rid of the uh, focus project section down here because this was not doing me any good. Um, it was not in a place where I was going to reference it. It had no useful information. It was just taking up space on the page. So here's uh, yeah week two. And the other thing you'll notice that I changed between these two weeks is um, I was highlighting my like big projects so I knew what to focus on. This is like multi-step things. You'll notice that they have like multiple dots along here uh, instead of just one task and it's done. But the gray really made it look like it's crossed out. Like you probably can't even read it from this angle. Um, and I decided to start using a colored one because it fits with the color theme. And so I'm using a, a colored one. It stands out a little bit better and it just works a little bit better as a highlighter. So uh, yeah, I highlight the videos here and then there's multiple steps for each one. This is my like video production schedule and then this is general to do's. And for some reason this month I'm finding that um, I'm not running out of space. I did the same kind of layout in August and um, at that time I was using like full two pages of Alistair tasks. Um, I think really what it is is that I'm kind of focusing on these as more of projects with multiple steps and so I can do one thing two days like this just says craft guild and I did something for the craft guild here on the 11th I did uh, what did I do? Oh, PM Jenna and Rowena. So I had to PM some people about it. Um, and then on the 15th, I did, oh, I PM'd her again. So it's just like one project. And instead of putting PM Rowena, which in this case it would have worked because I had to do the same thing twice, but basically two different kinds of tasks for one project can just fit on one line because I know what it means in the moment. So it's good enough. And then I'm only using about half of the page. So I don't feel like I'm going to run out of room or like I have to worry about not adding things that I should add for fear of running out of room, you know, um, you'll notice this spread has two different color themes because I realized when I got here and I was like, oh, Sunday's on this page. And I have this whole page before I move on to the weekly and then I'll do Monday over here and I'll have this empty play page. But no, there's no reason why you can't put Monday and Tuesday the page before your weekly. And I don't know why this blew my mind. I feel like I'm such an idiot for not, you know, realizing that, you know, you can just do it in a different order and it's not so groundbreaking. But anyway, if you are the same way and feel like your weeklies have to go before your Monday, maybe consider that they don't really. Uh, yeah, I use yellow. This one's a bit longer. I had some smaller tasks this week. That's basically what that means. A longer list means smaller tasks. Like this shorter list meant more projects and this meant more tasks, you know? And so I went with the uh, sort of colorful washi tape and these owl stickers. These are from Hobby Lobby as well. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Um, I think I've mentioned before that these uh, terrarium stickers are from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this st washi tape is from Target and this one is from Michaels. Uh, this is Simply Gilded and this is from Night Owl Washi, the really thin uh, like three millimeter washi tape. So this is sort of an astronomy theme because I can never get away from using this washi tape. It's my favorite. Yeah, I've said this before. I'll say it again. It's my favorite. I'm going to use it up. It is also from Simply Gilded. Um, yeah, so it's all like stars and stuff and instead of using a sticker I just kind of drew out Orion because the Orion had showers happening and Yeah, blue and blue and it's all pretty and I'm filming this on Monday So not too much is filled out here, but I just kind of want to show you how I'm using color differently And uh, I think it's it's just making me happier like it gives me a little bit extra something to do like I just enjoy spending a little bit of time on the weekend laying out the washi and deciding what I need to get done going through. I have been using my um, checklist, uh, this page here, 
to sort of remind me every week the things that I need to check in on and I'm going back to my project list and figuring out like where my focus needs to be for the week um, picking out things that I've been putting off and adding them to my to-do list and then migrating them to the next week when I didn't get around to it but you know it's as long as things are in the forefront of your mind I think that's what's important uh, yeah so this is where I am right now and uh, yeah that's what's changed not that much but like I said it's just sort of how I use it that's changed rather than my setup I will be setting things up a little bit differently changing out the dashboards making myself some new tabs and that whole setup video will be coming out at the beginning of November because I'll be doing that for the new month um, but in the meantime thank you guys for watching and um, if you enjoy these rambly videos like let me know because I well, you know, maybe I'll edit myself less if that's what you like. It seems that my um, longer videos seem to be get more views for some reason, but uh, I'm happy to oblige however you prefer. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I post videos three times a week and you don't want to miss those. And likes and comments make my day. So if you want to make my day, you should like and comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.